Welcome to Canada Hours of Service Training, Record of Duty Status. For details on how to use this course and all of its features, select Help in the upper right-hand corner. Ready to begin? Click Next or swipe to continue. Tracking and recording your hours provide proof you're complying with the limits. Recording is done electronically, manually, or by keeping a time record, depending on how you operate. Compliance starts with planning. You need to know where you're going and how you're going to get there. That's where a trip plan can help. Your hours of service record at the end of a productive day will match up almost perfectly with the plan. This course is designed to teach you when each type of record can be used and how each is evaluated during a roadside inspection. It'll also help you with planning your trips to avoid violations. After completing this course, you will be able to describe how to use trip planning to achieve successful time management, explain how supporting documents are used to validate recorded hours, identify when to keep track of your hours using an electronic logging device or ELD, a record of duty status or time record, and recognize how roadside inspection expectations differ between ELDs, a record of duty status, and time records. Complying with the hours of service limits does not just happen. It requires proactive trip planning and accurate record keeping. Successful drivers take ownership of their outcome by creating a thorough plan for each trip. Trip planning applies to all drivers, not just over-the-road drivers. This includes local, regional, long-haul, specialized, CMV drivers whose primary job is not driving, and you. A good trip plan involves creating a vision of how the day should go. Will unexpected obstacles arise? Absolutely. So, it's best to anticipate them and be strategic. It's a common practice to subtract about 20 km per hour from the speed limits to allow for unexpected variables that will require additional time. The more variables used to develop a trip plan, the more accurate the plan will be. You can plan for things like the weather forecast, plan detours and road construction, common rush hour traffic in larger cities, and established speed limits. And some things, like an accident, you just can't know in advance. You'll need several details every time you create a trip plan. Drag the slider to learn what to consider when making your plan. Where are you starting your trip? Where's your destination? What route do you plan on taking? Don't rely on what the GPS says alone. How long will each task take? This may include fuel, work, scales, travel, and traffic. Trip duration. How many hours do you have available? Take overnight parking into consideration when trip planning. Based on current studies, drivers are allowing 30 to 60 minutes to find parking. You may need to end your shift earlier to be certain you do not run too close to the driving or on-duty limits. Hudson needs to determine the total trip duration for his trip plan. He's considering weather, traffic, construction, and speed limits. What should he do to allow for unexpected variables when calculating the total trip duration?